nuclear testing base at Muraroa Atoll and the countdown well advanced for the first A-bomb explosion. French scientists have moved from their Sahara test ground to this atoll, 500 miles from Tahiti. After the explosion, a number of countries protested but the French plan many more tests. Cassidy Airfield on Christmas Island in the far Pacific, waiting to make history. For Britain's first hydrogen bomb is about to be exploded. Not until 10 seconds after the flash may anyone turn and look at the huge fireball, even through goggles. For so intense is this man-made sun that people 10 miles away, with their backs turned and their hands over their eyes, are conscious of its fantastic brilliance. As the heat spreads outwards, clouds are evaporated in a fraction of a second and new ones created. Here is another view of the tremendous explosion taken from a Shackleton aircraft to the task force. Flying over the Marshall Islands in the Central Pacific. Here on the atoll of Enoetak, on a tiny island named Elujalab, the Atomic Energy Commission and the Defense Department are preparing to explode the world's most fearsome weapon, the first hydrogen bomb. The building which houses the device, nicknamed Mike, is called the CAM. The island of Elujalab itself is referred to as the Shot Island. Built to collect scientific data, a plywood tube looking like boxwood cars runs two miles to a detection station on Bogan Island. Minus ten seconds. Niner, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten. The shock wave as it rolls toward the flagship. from Bikini Atoll on the other side of the world. This is the first peacetime test of atomic energy. To test the effect of the deadliest nuclear weapon yet, boxes will snap open 15 seconds before the explosion, containing samples of wood, paper, cloth, grass and tree branches. Skiffs are launched at predetermined spots, bearing instruments which will measure radioactive fallout. Bomb gone. And at once the supersonic giant bangs sharply to race for safety. It'll be 15 miles away when the bomb explodes at 10,000 feet. From another plane 50 miles away, we watch the terrifying sight of a man-made sun searing the atmosphere with a force equal to 10 million tons of TNT. in the Voya Zemla. Although the largest portion of the debris from this device was injected into the high stratosphere, some part was left behind in the lower atmosphere to contribute to the immediate fallout. They'll kill all of us before they've done. Makes you wonder, I heard her say, what's going to happen to the kiddies in 20 years' time? I don't wonder. I know. <laughs> 